Welcome everybody. We're going to take a little look at Padraig Harrington's golf swing. So uh, always uh, one of my favorite golfers of all time. Been fortunate to know Padraig for a long time when he won his major championships as part of TPI. Uh, we were uh, we were part of his team when he worked back then with uh, Bob Torrance and uh, just been a great friend of ours for a long time. I don't think there's anybody that works harder at the game than Padraig and tests you as an instructor. He's always got some idea or something about the golf swing. And I just think I love working with students like this because they make you better at what you do. So I'm going to take a little look at his golf swing coming off the win at the Senior US Open. Congratulations to him. It was awesome to see. And uh, I think that you're going to see a lot more of him in that winning circle because of just how well he strikes the golf ball. If you managed to watch any of the Senior Open, you would have noticed the kind of speed that Padraig has. He still can get over 180 miles an hour ball speed with his driver at 50 years old. So that's pretty impressive. So this, this swing right here is a down the line swing with an iron. So I've drawn a couple of lines. I've drawn what we call a tailbone line. Um, I've drawn a shaft plane line, some references to the body angles and posture. And I'm just going to take you through his swing and show you a couple of things you might be able to learn from him. So first of all, with Padraig, you'll notice this very good posture, solid posture. In many cases, he can look a little bit city in his legs and sometimes, you know, there's variations where we've tried in the past to get him to to tip over a little bit more or tilt over a little bit more. But something unusual about Padraig is he's got size eight feet and he's six foot one. So he's actually a tall guy with fairly small feet. So, you know, his platform isn't that big. So for him, anytime he stands to tilt over, he actually feels unstable. So that's why he's always looked a little bit more squatty and city. But nonetheless, he's got a tremendous golf swing. So as he goes back, You'll notice this club work up the plane line here. Beautiful takeaway, everything in one piece away from the away from the ball. And this is something you can definitely learn not, learn, not snatching the club away. This is a great position to look at here. Club is literally on his toe line when it gets parallel to the ground. And there hasn't been this overturn. His arms are still very much in front of his body. So as he starts to set his wrists now, this is a check mark I always look at that when the lead arm is kind of parallel to the ground, the hands are in the middle of the chest. You don't want to get that club behind you too quickly. And if you do, you can get out of sync. And that's when you can lift the club, get it maybe a little bit across the line at the top of the backswing. So as he goes back, notice this other tailbone line here. Notice how you'll see his pocket start to move behind it. That tells me he's loading into his right hip really well. And, and turning into that right side really nicely. Right here, you'll start to see just this beautiful set of the club. He's got his arms nice and high, but the club is nicely in sync with his turn. And you can see that tailbone behind that line. That's a big factor. We always wanna sit deep into that glute so that that makes sure we're loading into the trail leg. Now, as Padraig starts down here, you'll notice the shallowing of the club. So club comes down within that slot, arms get back in front of his body beautifully. And again, in many ways, although the body is starting to rotate and shift, that club lines up again on his toe line in this position. And he's in a really good delivery position. Now, when he was a little younger, his hips would rotate a little bit more than this, and he'd be a little bit more open with his trunk and open with his chest. But nonetheless, he's swinging very much within his limits. He's not doing things that he shouldn't be doing. You know, his, his swing is matching the way his body moves exceptionally well. So as he starts down now into this delivery position, if we get down right about here at impact, you'll see beautiful impact position. Shaft plane is just a little bit above the original shaft plane line, which is normal in most players because they're shifting away from the camera and they're moving into their lead side. And you can see again, I don't see daylight between Padraig and that tailbone line. So that means he's staying in his posture, rotating through nicely. And, and then you'll see this continuation through impact. And this is always a great checkpoint for me. The ball is well on its way. And if you look at this club, if I draw a line, I'm actually change colors here for you. If I draw a line up the club shaft, kind of, it looks like the club the butt end of the club is pointing right at his navel. 
And that just tells me that his body is rotating and everything is in sync. Arms, body, club are moving beautifully through the golf shot. And this is just really textbook for, for anybody to copy and learn and that he swings within his limitations. You know, he may jump a little bit and you may see some foot movement with the driver. That's because he's pushing against the ground and trying to create maximum speed. But with the irons, he's a very solid striker of his irons and can really flight the ball extremely well. And you can see here as he comes through the finish, nice balanced finish all the way through. And then he kind of extends off that tailbone line up into a nice balanced finish position. So again, a really good golf swing. If I was going to say one thing you could learn off this, swing within your limits, the way your body moves. Don't try and do things that you can't do. Keep the club in sync with the way your body's moving. And you can see to me that club stays beautifully in sync with his rotation and his turn. And that's why I think he's such a good striker of the golf ball. I also think that's why you're going to see a lot more of him on the senior tour. So I hope you've enjoyed this little analysis of Padraig Swing. And uh, good luck to him in the future. He is one of the, the premier guys, one of the guys I love most to be around and talk to about the golf swing because he challenges you every day to get better. Thank you for tuning in for this little analysis of Padraig Harrington, senior U.S. Open champion.